How are you doing? So I'm just going to do a quick what's up message. My name is Lisa in case you've never seen one of these videos before. Um, I'm just going to grab one of these to see like a main energy. Why? And I, I instantly heard knowledge. So I f it's seeking the truth. Look, see, and then down here is thinker. So ask questions. Like, what do you want to know? And look, this is 44 and three plus one is four. So that's three, four. So it's like, if I feel like it's like the, the beginning of a foundation. What are you what are you trying to build? Like what are you trying to begin? And it's like finding out your why behind it and the way and see like the question mark. See, it's like ask your questions. Like what do you really want to know? There may be somebody who can help you here with this. Alright, so so let's see. Yeah, see, it's like, in the book, it has wings. It's like, once you, like, knowledge is power is what I just heard. And, yeah, see, th this is, like, she also looks like a shaman type fairy so it's making me feel like maybe it's time for you to like look into your um ancestral history maybe you're being moved into to look into things like that how to connect that's what i'm hearing like how to connect And what are your motives like behind it? Like, why do you want to connect? And, and I feel like if you, um, wow, this card like just got super deep. All right. I feel like the more questions you ask, like it's just going to lead you to where you're supposed to go. And I'm also getting like, you're actually like getting information. And maybe what you need to learn is how to understand the information that you're getting. All right, so. All right, so let's see. Three cards for the WhatsApp message today. The tower. All right, I have my duck upside down, so. Maybe you're gonna get some information. Maybe you're finally gonna understand why something is moving the way that it's moving or working out the way that it's working out. Hmm. All right. So the story continues. Let's see. Yeah. Like, so, look, I was just like, the, it's going to like knock your roof off or something. What's that saying? I don't know. That's I'm trying to knock your socks off, but it's like, it blows your, cap off is that thing i don't know something like that all right 
it. Here's another four. The fours are like big time, right? I feel like whatever, like something's going to come out. I don't know. Let's see. One more. Okay. So this is, this is else. Like, I don't know why, <laughs> but when I was like seeing this and the, it's going to like, it's like, and then the 10 of pentacles came out. It's like somebody It's like having an overnight success. Like from penny pinching to, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles, that's like, And then we have this Knight of Cups. So I don't know if like somebody's like coming in and offering you something or if like this could be some kind of job offer that you're just like, holy shit. Like, and it's because the tower doesn't always like signify something like something horrible is going to happen. The tower signifies something that like shakes your world up, you know, and, you know, getting offered like your dream job would totally shake your world up. Right. You know, especially if you've been like, struggling <laughs> and all the fours it's like it's it's what's going to help you build your stability build like build your life So I don't know, this is like some kind of, I mean, he's the, the Knight of Cups. And so it's usually like an emotional offer, but like there's so many pentacles. So I, I guess it could go either way, you know? All right, let's see. Let's get like. See, and then with this helpful person, it's like maybe somebody does come in and like offer you some kind of leg up. That's what I just heard. Or maybe you get like offered some kind of job. Or maybe somebody presents like there's like some kind of love offer that comes in and then like you guys like come together and like together you have everything. When alone, it was just like you're both kind of like holding out holding on to pinching pennies or whatever. This is like somebody, I mean, he just looks like, he doesn't look like he's stressing. I just feel like this person is like holding on to something and then it, it comes out and then, and maybe it's this love offer. And then together, like, this is what you build. I don't know. You're going to know, or it's like a job. Either way, it like literally like totally changes your life because the tower are those moments, you know, that like change you, but it's like, you know, it could be like an epiphany. It could be like, um, just something that makes you move in like a different, a different way. And this is like a drastic change from four of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. And the fact that the tower is in the middle and it just makes me feel like it's some, it's like, like an overnight success. It's like something that just like comes out of nowhere. This, this offer like comes out of nowhere. You're totally not expecting it. And, and this, it's like with this, why,
So maybe before you like go into it, this is like, that's why you have to like ask the questions and, you know, see really where this person is coming from. Yeah, look. So this could be definitely two people coming together. I mean, and then this is underneath here. This is reconciliation, past lives, soulmates, reunion. Huh. <clears throat> All right, so let's get one more advice card for everybody, please. One more advice card for everybody, please, today. Have faith and music for man manifestation because it's like, it feels like this is close. Whatever this is that's coming towards you is, is close. It's going to rock your world, you know, whatever it is in a good way, not in a bad way. Your prayers are manifesting, remain positive and follow your guidance. Okay. And then the other thing is this morning I got like this. If you, if you never try, you'll never know you are what you manifest. So it's like, and then this, your prayers are manifesting. So it's like, and then this have faith. It's just keep moving forward. Continue to do your grounding, continue to, um, like stay in the moment, you know? I mean, I know that that's where I work best is like when I'm in the moment, you know, like, do I stay there all the time? Hell fucking no. You know, I'm not perfect, you know, but you know, I have the, my things that like throw me off track and then, but then I also have tools that help me get back into place, you know? And sometimes like, you know, when I start to whirl, you know, I have like, I've told these tools to other people to help them so that they can tell me, Hey, this is what you got to do. Oh yeah. Yes. You know, like, that's why we're all in this together, you know? And, um, like it, it goes both ways. And so this music, see, and then it says consult an expert. This consult an expert thing has been coming up. So I don't know if you get come into a lot of money and you need to go talk to somebody about what you what you're going to do with that money before you talk to anybody, like before you even like get that money. <laughs> but then there's this, there was this whole thing about, um, getting more information. There's just this feeling of like getting more information, getting more knowledge, seeking the truth. That's, more information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. Yeah, I feel like some of you are like getting like a guide, you know, or you're, you're starting to listen to somebody else, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. There's just, I just feel like that whole consultant expert in this why and with this knowledge and everything, I feel like, um, there's, you're, you're searching. Like, I feel like they're searching for more knowledge and I, I don't know. I feel like somebody's going to come into your life or maybe you've already found them, uh, to take you to that next level of understanding. Yeah, this all feels good. This all feels big too, you know? So. Stay grateful. Gratitude is the attitude. You know, when you already have everything, like everything just continues to come to you. Like it's like with that me mentality, at least like that's what works for me, you know, being in the moment, but it takes practice getting there. You know, it's like the whole 
uh, two steps forward, one step back, still moving forward. So it counts. Okay. So don't beat yourself up. Um, hang in there because I don't know, it might be a little hairy for, for you right now, you know, and, but the best is yet to come. It really is. Like, I feel like I want to cry because it's like, I feel like who, whatever this is, like, it's going to be so, like, you're not going to believe it. But it's really, um, you are what you manifest. Like, if, and that's why this music for manifesting is good. Because, like, I know for me, like, music really affects my mood. And, you know, depending on the song I listen to, um, I can, like, bring myself down or up. So, it's like. No, we're going up, baby. Okay, we're 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 going from from this to this, from the four of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, like like rapid rapid fire, you know, quick. I feel like somebody's gonna literally have, and this is like kind of come up before, you know, this like overnight success. So I don't know what you guys are doing, but y'all like just keep on doing it and hang in there and um, just don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. Keep moving forward and act as if, you know, like not, not even just acting as if it's like, really feel it. It can't like, because a lot of times I get stuck because like, it's like in my mind. I mean, it's like, like, I know what to do. What's like in my mind. I, I, I can see it in my mind, but no, I got to feel it in my heart, you know? And when I feel it in my heart, it's like phew, changes everything. And I think I've shared with you before, like a lot of times what I do is, is, uh, and here's my rose quartz right there. Show that to everybody. Um, a lot of times what I'll, I'll do when I'm really, really in my head is like, I make, I put my hand over my heart and I sit on the outside and I do my whole meditation, but I really, I have my hand here so I can like pay attention to what my heart's saying and not my, my brain because I know I'm not alone in the whole, like, my mind can go, you know, it just takes practice. You know, it's just like that, that song. I, that's why I love that song, Burning Man, it, because it's all about like the balance, like, okay, so he still goes a little bit crazy. He just doesn't stay there as long. You know, that's me. And I know I'm not alone in that. You know, so, um, and if you're afraid to show that side of you, like here I am, I'm going to show, because somebody showed their humanness to me, which allowed me the freedom to show my humanness to others. You know, and a lot of times like, you know, people have looked at me like I'm weak and I don't give a shit. You know what? Because one, I'm staying sober and two, like for the most part, I'm a pretty happy person. And I always search out for, um, I continue to look for my lesson. You know, and those people that have been like making fun of me or have looked down at me for like, they're not happy. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't trade my life for theirs any day. And, you know, I'm grateful that I'm still willing to learn and still willing to listen. And, um, that's a gift. You know, so fight for it, you know, and, and don't, don't be ashamed of being the fool. And that just made me think of the, the thing from yesterday. It says, those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. Boom, pal. That's it. Go get your life. The best is yet to come. Believe it and own it. Bye.